Obviously, we won't have time to cover every detail in depth, so be sure you read the rule set located on the MagFed Solutions website to get a full understanding of how this game is very different from others. Here is the overall layout of the Texas Paintball Facility, our host facility of this event. Snake Eater is a Milson MagFed only event, and as a result, there are very specific rules dictating the equipment types allowed onto the field. Please ensure your equipment and loadouts are within these restrictions. If there are additional questions, feel free to email sales at magfedsolutions.com. Perhaps most unique to Snake Eater are our rules regarding grenades. A careful review of these rules in particular is highly recommended as their use can surely turn the battle tremendously in this close quarters environment. There are numerous ways in which someone can be eliminated, the most common being a strike from a paintball or approved shaped projectile resulting in a quarter size mark being left on your person. Eliminations from specialty weapons are all covered extensively in the detailed rule set. If your marker is struck while in use, you are not eliminated and can switch to another marker. However, if a prop, holstered pistol, or slung weapon is struck, you are eliminated. You may find that you've outmaneuvered an enemy undetected. You may decide that your best course of action is to stealth kill one or more opponents. Simply coming up behind them and tagging them on their back will render them eliminated. You may find that coming around a corner, you find yourself with an opponent dangerously close. It is not required, but we recommend at least offering a surrender. Surrendering is completely optional, and should you offer it, be prepared to immediately fire. Aside from a stealth kill, there is to be no physical contact between players. Anyone caught fighting on the field will be immediately ejected from the game. Paintballs and first strike rounds oftentimes bounce. You are not eliminated in the event of a bounce. However, if you should raise your hand above your head and indicate you are eliminated, you are eliminated. There are no take backs once you call yourself out. Texas Paintball contains many deep trenches throughout the field. Be sure to watch your footing at all times to prevent injury. Dead men do not talk, period. This includes over the radio and video streams while walking back to respawn or to the parking lot. When leaving the field, it is very important to have your barrel sock on your marker. Should you approach the gates without an appropriate barrel blocking device and do not notify the station ref, you will be judge punched immediately for an infraction. Please ensure you keep track of your barrel blocking device. Please be sure to complete your safety quiz and turn in your signed signature page prior to the event to prevent yourselves from being locked out of the opening battle sequence. 